few uh, months ago, we decided we uh, wanted to take an RV trip to California. Um, so we started looking into renting them, and they were just ridiculous. It was going to cost you like three or four thousand dollars by the time we rented one. So instead, we bought this. A 1976 Chevy 20-foot motor home. Built right here by Okanagan RVs in Penticton. Still in there. Let me tell you, this thing is pretty sweet. Open the door, D. How are you guys enjoying the motorhome so far? I like it, but I'm still half asleep. It's awesome! So, back in 1976, vans and trucks didn't really have like the options that they do nowadays so these things were built pretty much on a, a basic vehicle so we got nice options like this push button brights for your bright lights if you don't have cruise control that's okay you just buy an aftermarket cruise control no intermittent wipers that's no problem aftermarket intermittent wipers <laughs> There's Kale up there. Hello. It's my bed up here. We got a sweet AM radio with an 8 track player. Aftermarket 8 track player. Ooh, some nice lap belts. Because we don't need no shoulder restraints. Nope. Come around the other side and take a look inside to all this 1970s goodness. Look at that flooring. Oh, obvious patch job here. We're here. My bed's up here. Dylan's coming up here because he's weird. Dylan can't get up there. He's too big. No, he did last time. It's not easy for him, but he can. How do you like it, Sookie? <laughs> You're sitting at the table? <laughs> she wants to eat. Anyway, we got this nice upholstery 1970s couches so it seems like everything in here does work we got a propane an electric fridge the stoves working the furnace is working the hot water is working however this thing will need some work done before we take it to California number one is the whole back wall here. This whole back wall will need to be uh, redone. Um, I'm gonna pretty much have to rip it out and reframe it. Uh, a we'll soft probably, spot here. yeah, I think there's a tiny there's soft spot here, oh, probably from a bathroom right leak. Oh, cause we have this sweet bathroom that's like a shower and a toilet and a sink. But these things are kind of going for premium right now because of the whole COVID thing. And nobody being able to travel anywhere except kind of within their province. So we kind of had to find the best one. But what I do like on this one is even though there is some water damage, the actual siding and everything is in really good shape. It's not dented, it's not torn apart. So after I rebuild the framing, I think it'll be uh, in pretty good shape. Everything else seems to be functional. I think most of the water leakage probably came from these uh, marker lights on the back that aren't sealed properly. Because like, it's all cracked here and it just means it's letting water in through the electrical hole and the screw holes. So. But anyway, we're gonna probably take it for a couple BC road trips, maybe in a couple weeks. We'll uh, head up to like Revelstoke and Banff maybe. And uh, when we drove it here, it, it drove really well. It's got, uh, actually we'll show you under the hood. Now, they told me it had a 350 
but there is a chance it might have a 400 in it. Small block Chevy. So he already did the starter, put in new radiator. It's got two new batteries. So a bunch of uh, stuff we won't have to do. Uh, the brakes were good. The tires are pretty new, and it's got dually on the back. Oh, Karina's back again because she still forgot something. I think she's buying the whole dollar store to outfit this thing. Um, sweet rim, sweet hubcaps on here. And we'll have to fix up some of this stuff like the caulking job here is pretty nasty. But I think he just wanted to make sure it didn't leak anymore. But yeah, it's uh, not too bad shape. Are you pumped to go on the first RV trip, Kale? Maybe in a week or two? First things that gotta go are these hubcaps. Not only are they really ugly, but you have to take them off just to put air in the tires. Because there's no access point. I think what I'll do is probably paint the rims the same white color as the rest of the motorhome. I think that'll look a lot better. Before, after. We uh, just put this nice yellow shelf up here that uh, we got some shelves from the dollar store and just hung these from here and they're fastened on the inside. This has a front on it so that uh, we can put some stuff up there. It's good enough for a temporary shelf until we rebuild the back wall and then we'll figure something else out. And Karina found some nice carpets to hide the patch job there and they almost go with the same color as the floor. So that's pretty cool. Uh, I put up the clock and put up this fruit basket thingy and just put up some towel racks and stuff in the bathroom because we're never going to use it as a shower so and that's about it for the uh, first project anyway you'll see lots more where we're uh, going on trips and kind of uh, renovating it and I kind of want to keep it in a 1970s look thanks Kale oh my god that was a good catch Kind of keep it in like a 1970s look on the inside, even if we uh, have to rip out half the interior and fix the walls. But uh, it's going to be pretty sweet. Anyway, that's it for today.